This is the perfect wake up machine. Um, there's six <coughs> different alarms, which are coffee, um, music is a buzzer, um, hello vibrator, fan, and then this is our bed sheet removal system. Um, these six buttons can let you uh, decide which ones you want uh, active, and then an LED shows when, when they're on. So I'm going to input the time here on our keypad. This bar here is the time. So I'll go 1255 and set the alarm for 1400. And then an hour before the alarm, the coffee pot should turn on. Right there, so your coffees will be ready for you when you wake up. And the coffee just started. And then our six buttons, so we can turn the buzzer off if you don't want the buzzer. You can turn the music off if you don't want the music to come on. Hit the snooze button, which will increment the snooze, and then I'm just going to fast forward the time again for your time's sake. <laughs> And then the last one, everything should go on. Yeah, everything should go on at the last uh, stage. We <laughs> 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 run on an impulse, so it only switches on for a second. And it basically just pulls the chain and kicks it down real quick. Should rip your sheets off pretty powerfully. Good. <laughs> yeah. The last component of our wake-up machine is a uh, thermometer and a relative humidity sensor. Okay. So now we're going to heat it up manually. There's a thermistor on the heat. And then side. once it passes the threshold that I entered at 71 degrees, it'll turn. And then, now we're going to let it cool down for a quick second. And the fans should turn back off and the temperature once we get the lower is past the threshold. And then the last part of our project, we have a light sensor to, to dim the LEDs when you cover it up. Someone's going to put my hand on it. And LEDs to dim is when you turn the lights off and you're ready to sleep. It's not quite right. Four of the outputs here are run off these relays because they'll either use this, uh, the four bar uses the nine and a half volt drill power battery, and everything else uses uh, 120 volt AC, so we have them running through DC relays, which we switch with another power converter and Darlington transistors. The pillow vibrators are running off just our regular 5 volt current, which is all running through this slave pick up here. Um, the music and the buzzer are running off a separate slave pick. We've got uh, audio splitters right here for the music which is just plugging in through a, uh, a computer speaker setup, amplifier up front. Um, the six buttons are all running through the digital potentiometers, which you pointed out earlier. 